beautiful people of the earth. So today I have a tutorial for you all and I saw this look, Kylie Jenner wearing this look and she posted a picture on Instagram and she was kind of wearing similar eye makeup to this and I absolutely loved it. I was like, you know what, I want to go ahead and try it out. And I tried it out and I really loved it. So I was like, I want to go ahead and do a tutorial for you all. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty and really light and it's not hard to do at all. Like it literally takes me like five minutes. I'm like, boom and done. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you do, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just want to go ahead and grab a base for your eye and I'm taking Painterly Pink Pop from MAC and it's just a really nude base. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my eyelid and up to my brow bone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this Lorac palette and this is from their Box of Candy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this cream color from the Lorac palette with a flat shader brush and grabbing that color onto my brush and placing it right onto my lid. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this color all the way up to my brow bone. And I know a lot of you guys are like, Ellie, you don't bring shimmering eyeshadow up to your eyebrow bone. But we're going to fix that. But right now, I'm just putting it on for a base just to, you know, cover up the whole lid and kind of make the whole look kind of flow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So once you have both eyes done, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this brown color, which is kind of like a brown coppery color with my MAC 2.4 blush brush which is like a blending brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take this color and put it all over my outer corner and right into my crease just all these colors are really shimmery and nice and I just really love the way they all look together don't forget the other eye So now I'm just taking this gold color from the Laura palette also. I'm just going to go ahead and take it on the blending brush and just get it on the front half of the brush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and place this color right onto three quarters of my lid. Like you just want it like a little tiny bit so it's going to be a glove. Now taking a nude from MAC which is actually in vanilla. It's a nude eyeshadow with my flat shader brush. I'm going to go ahead and take this color and put it right on my eyebrow bone. like that. Now taking my L'Oreal Mirror Intense in Black Mika, this is a really nice thin line. I'm just going to go ahead and take, create a thin line right along my lash line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and wing it out slightly. You want the smallest wing. This is just going to give your eyes a little bit of definition, making them have a little bit more shape. And yeah, so you just want to make like a little wing. As you guys can see, the wing is not big at all. So this look is like really good if you're like, um, don't want to like do like a heavy makeup look, but you still want to have a little bit of like funness to it. This is really great. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it so that it doesn't look like it just stops. I'm just going to kind of even that out like that. Now it's time to do the other eye. So when both eyes are done, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take a black eyeliner. This is from MAC and Feline, and it's a, just a dark black eyeliner. I'm just going to go ahead and put this right onto my waterline. You don't want to get it underneath your eyeliner, like on your lower lash line. You just want to put it right on your waterline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes. And this is an eyelash curler from Forever 21. It's my favorite. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab some mascara, which is Maybelline the Falsies. And black and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a few coats of this right to my lashes just like this I really love this mascara it's like my favorite most all-time favorite drugstore mascara so there we go there's the final eye makeup look you guys can see this is so simple I do this for like my everyday makeup look now because it's so easy to create now for cheeks now I'm taking a peachy pinkish blush from MAC, which is actually in Warm Soul, with a powder blush brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that blush and apply it right to my cheeks. And you just want to go ahead and give yourself a big cheese and apply this right to your cheeks. Now for lips, I'm taking a lipstick from MAC, which is like a nudish pinkish frostish color, which is actually in Cream de Nude. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this right to my lippies. Which is my 
back with like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take a Dazzle Glass by MAC, and this is actually Baby Spark. This is a really nice peach lip gloss. I love this, it looks really pretty. This combination with Cream de Nude, Lipstick, and Baby Sparks. Oh my gosh, it's like mwah. I love it so much. It has been my new favorite lip combination. Like, oh, gosh. So there we go. There's the final eye makeup look. I absolutely love it. It has been my new favorite everyday look. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Um, and you guys saw it only took me literally like five minutes. Literally. So if you're in a rush, it's like boom, boom, boom. Now I'm just, what is that on your face, Allie? Uh oh, black hair. final eye makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. Talk to you later. Bye! Bye.